Though Naomi did the on-court post-match interview with former player Fabrice Santoro, she did not appear at her scheduled press conference and was fined $15,000 and notified of next steps should Osaka continue her boycott of the press. For now, the standoff continues. Here is part of the joint statement on behalf of all four Grand Slams. The Roland Garros teams asked her to reconsider her position and tried unsuccessfully to speak with her to check on her well-being, understand the specifics of her issue, and what might be done to address it on site. We've advised Naomi Osaka that should she continue to ignore her media obligations during the tournament, she would be exposing herself to possible further code of conduct infringement consequences. As might be expected, repeat violations attract tougher sanctions, including default from the tournament mm. and the trigger of major offense investigations. That could lead to more substantial fines and future Grand Slam suspension. Rafael Nadal weighed in on Osaka's silence. I understand her, but in the other hand, for me, I mean, without the press, without the 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 people who normally is traveling or are. Uh, Counting, I mean, uh, are writing the the news and the achievements uh, that we are having around the world. Uh, probably we will not be the the athletes that we are today. We don't gonna have the 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 recognition that we have around the world, and we will not be that popular. No, so uh, I understand her. In the other hand, I I have my my point of view that uh, the media is a very important part of our sport too. Rafa's words carry weight in Paris, if it weren't clear by this statue. <laughs> Already has a court named in his honor. Rafa now has this on the Roland Garros grounds, made entirely of steel. Perhaps clay would have been more appropriate. 13 of Nadal's record-tying 20 Grand Slams were won at the French Open. Mark, you have thoughts? Yeah, I do. So the Nadal statue is striking. There's no doubt about that. Just check it out. But to me, it evokes more Game of Thrones than King of Clay's throne. Tell me the artist was not inspired by this White Walker. Replace the racket with the huge sword. Please tell me you see this, Phil. I do, but is it inaccurate? You have the Clay King and a, 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 you know, a legion of the Night King. You see either one in your path, the end feels inevitable. Nadal's dominance is a decades-long team in Paris.